with the case of admission. So in the previous chapter, you have heard one concept that is reconstitution of partnership firm. So let us recall what is this re uh, reconstitution of partnership firm. When there is change in the agreement between partners, that is known as a reconstitution of partnership. So there are four modes of reconstitution of partnership. The first one is uh, they can do it. So it will result in a change in agreement between all those partners in that partnership firm. So this is change in profit sharing ratio. Second mode is admission of a partner. So in the case of admission of a partner, a new person is taken as a partner in the existing partnership firm. So that is admission of a partner. Uh, third one. Retirement of a partner. Retirement means one or the other partner retires from the existing partnership business. So that will also lead to change in uh, the agreement between the partners. And the last mode is death of a partner. So when there is death taking place uh, in the case of one or other, other partner in that partnership firm, then the remaining partners have to continue the business. If they uh, agree to continue the existing business, then they will do it. So this will lead to change in the agreement between remaining partners. All these four modes need to change in the agreement between partners and it is called the reconstitution of a partnership firm. In this chapter, we will be discussing admission of a partner. So what is this admission of a partner? Admission means taking a new person as a partner in the existing partnership firm. To do that, existing all partners must agree to that. That means consent of all existing partners or we call them old partners is must. And they can admit a new, new person as a partner in that business. So this is the meaning of a admission of a partner. Uh, Section 31 of Indian Partnership Act 1932 deals with uh, the case of admission of a partner. Let us, you know, take one example regarding admission of a partner. Suppose there are two partners in a partnership firm. A and B are those partners. They share profits and losses of the firm equally. That means one is to one proportion. If they decide to take C as a partner in that firm. Now, there will be change in the agreement which is there between A and B. That means, after taking C, they have to renew the agreement between all of them. So, they, after admission of C, now there will be three partners A, B, and C. And uh, you know, let us consider they share profits and losses equal. That means again 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio. So earlier there were two partners A and B. 
equally sharing profits and losses. Now, after admitting C, there are three partners. Again, they are sharing profits and losses equally, for example. Now, let us understand what is the effect of this admission in the actual partnership business. After C becomes a partner, he gets two rights. The first right is right in the assets of the business. That is right to share the assets of the business. That is the first right C is going to get once he is admitted as a partner in that firm. Second is right to share profits and losses. So second right he is going to get is you know, right to share profits and losses of the firm in the future. So these are the two rights. So when C comes, he has to bring the capital. Uh, we all know that uh, you know, in order to become proprietor of a business, contribution of capital is must. So, uh, in that manner, you know, C has to bring the capital when he comes as a partner to that business. So, contribution of capital. The second effect is, C is going to get the right to share offers and losses of the business in that future. Means, earlier there were two partners and sharing profits and losses of the business. When C comes as partner, then all three are going to share the profits and losses. That is the change taking place in the, or the aspect of a profit sharing ratio. You know, let us take this example. Okay? So, earlier their profit sharing ratio was equal, that means 1 is 1. Means out of total profit, A was getting 50% profit and B also was getting 50% profit because they were equal partners. After admission, even though they are equal partners, sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 1 in our example. Understand the change that has taken place. Now, A's share of profit in the firm will be 33%. Earlier he was getting 50%, now he is going to get 33%. Similarly, B is also getting 33%. And a new partner C will get 34%. Actually, we get 33.33%. .33%. So, in order, in order to avoid that fraction, I have taken 33% for A and 33% for B and 34% for new partner C. Look at the change. Earlier, A was getting 15%. Now, he is getting 33%. That means, there is reduction of 17% of profit in respect of A. Similarly, B was getting 50% before the admission of C. Now he is getting 33% of profit. That means he also uh, you know, uh, lost 17% of profit. And there was no, uh, no uh, there was C was not there. Now he is getting 34%. That means he has gained right to share profits and losses of the firm. And regarding this 17% in respect of A and B, what is this? So we call this is share sacrifice. Share sacrifice by A and B. So in this case, A and B are called the old part or existing partners. 
old partners or existing partners. And you know, C is a new partner and he is called that name only new partner. So these are the uh, you know, various effects of uh, the admission of a partner in the partnership business. Okay, now the uh, purpose of admission of a partner. Let us know what are the different reasons for which a new person is admitted as partner in a firm. So the reasons can be, the first, can, uh, first is to expand or increase the capital of the business. Second reason can be to expand the business. Third one, to improve managerial ability of the firm. And the last reason can be to improve or increase the goodwill of the firm. So these are the various reasons for which a person can be admitted as new partner in the business. Next we will discuss important points on the admission of a partner. existing or old partners 
and their profit sharing ratio was 3 is to 2 that is called old profit sharing ratio new partner is Tarun and his share is 1 by 5 which he has you know received from old partners in this proportion 2 by 15 and 1 by 15 let us write the formula for the new share first we have to calculate new share then we can calculate new profit share in the ratio. So new share equals to old share minus share sacrificed. So new share of R will be we have to take old share of R. So out of 3 is to 2. 3 was shared by R. So, 3 by 5. So, total 5 portions in which 3 are 3 is received by R. So, 3 by 5 is the old share of R minus share sacrificed by R. That is 2 by 15. So, first we have to write the LCM. LCM of 5 and 15 will be 15. Now we have to you know convert 3 into I mean 5 into 15. So we have to multiply by 3. So 3 into 5 becomes 15. So 3 uh, into 3 that is 9. So 15 is already there. So we will not uh, multiply for 2. Deduct 9. 2 minus uh, 2 from 9, we get uh, 7 by 15. Similarly, Varun's new share will be his old share 2 by 5 minus share sacrificed by Varun in favor of the that is 1 by 15. The same is 15. Now multiply 2 by 3 to make it 15 and here it is 1. So 6 minus 1 is 5 divided by 15. So that is the new share of 1. And the new partner Tarun's share is already given that is 1 by 5. Therefore, new profit sharing ratio of Arun, Varun and Tarun will be 7 by 15 is to 5 by 15 is to 1 by 5 or we can make this 1 by 5 equal to 15 that is 7 by 15 is to 5 by 15 is to 3 by 15 so their profit sharing ratio will be 7 is to 5 is to 3 so this is how new profit sharing ratio of all partners is calculated when the share sacrificed by world partners are given. Next we will go to second situation. Under second situation, sacrifice the ratio will be given. subtract 
and uh, share sacrifices from uh, old share. So this is how uh, new ratio, new profit sharing ratio is uh, calculated under this situation. Let us take one example. There are two partners, Sarala and Sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 5 is to 3 and they admit Bhavya into partnership for one sixth share in the business which she acquires in the ratio of 3 is to 1 from old partners Sarala and Varsha. So now this 3 is to 1 is the sacrifice ratio of old partners. So here we have to calculate new profit sharing ratio of all partners. So first we will be calculating share sacrificed by old partners. So using this formula share sacrificed by Sarala will be sacrifice ratio that is 3 by 4 into new partner share. In this problem, new partner is Bhavya and her share is 1 by 6. So, 1 by 6 multiply 3 into 1, 3, 4 into 6, 24. Similarly, share sacrificed by Varsha. Sacrifice ratio now 1 by 4 into new partners share. So that is 1 by 4. So this is how using that formula sacrifice ratio is converted into share sacrificed. Now we can calculate new share of Sarala and Varsha using that formula. So new share of Sarala will be Old share, so old share of Sarala is 5 by 8 minus share sacrificed by Sarala 3 by 24. That is, write the LCM 24. So here 5 becomes 15. We have to multiply by 3. To make 8 24. So 3 8s are 24, 3 into 5 15 minus 3. So that is 12 by 24. Similarly, new share of Varsha will be her old share 3 by 8 minus. Share sacrificed by Varsha 1 by 24. The SM is 24. 3 into 3, 9 minus 1 equals to 8 by 24. And the new partner is Mavida. Her share is already given. Therefore, new profit sharing ratio of all the partners will be 12 by 24 is to 8 by 24 is to 1 by 6 or 12 by 24 is to 8 by 24 is to 4 by 24. So that is 12 is to 8 is to 4 should be new profit sharing ratio of Sarada, Varsha and Bhavya. So this is situation 3 in which you know, when a sacrifice ratio is given. Next the third situation is when Old partners surrender a part of 
favor of a new person or new partner. So in this case, how to calculate new share of a old partners? Look at the situation where the old partners surrender a part of their share. So in this case, first we have to calculate share sacrificed by old partners and then we can calculate new share of old partners by deducting share sacrifice from their old share. Let us understand this situation with an example. Suppose there are two partners, Pawan and Madan, sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 7 is to 3. They admit Suman into partners. Suman is the new partner. Pawan agrees to surrender half of his share in favor of Suman and Madan agrees to surrender one fourth of his share in favor of new partner Suman. Calculate the new profit sharing ratio. Look at the situations. Now we have old share of old partners and the part which is sacrificed by old partners in favor of a new partner. So how to calculate a new profit sharing ratio in this situation? First we will be calculating the share sacrificed by old partners, power and partner. That can be calculated using this formula. Share sacrificed equals to old share into share surrender. Look at carefully. Share sacrifice equals to old share into share surrender. So in this case, share sacrificed by power will be his old share that is 7 by 10 into that part he has surrendered. He has surrendered half of his share that is 1 by 2. So share sacrificed power will be 7 by 20. Similarly, share sacrificed by mother will be his old share that is 3 by 10 into share surrendered by Suman, I mean mother that is 1 by 4. He has surrendered a quarter of his profit in favor of Suman. That is 3 by 40. Students, you can note that when we add share surrender, we get a share of a new So the share sacrificed by power and mother has been calculated. Next we will find out new share of power and mother. For that, we will be using formula new share equals to old share minus share sacrificed. So, Powell's new share will be his old share 7 by 10 minus share sacrificed by power. It is 7 by 20. LCM of 10 and 20 is 20. So 7 remains the same. We have to multiply 7 by 2. That becomes 14. So the new share of power will be 7 by 20. Next, new share of mother will be his old share that is 3 by 10 minus share sacrifice by mother that is 3 by 
for k. That is, calcium is for k. So three remains as it is. Multiply three by four. You get twelve. Now deduct three from twelve. You get nine by. Next, to find out Suman's new share, we have to add share sacrificed by Power and Mata. Therefore, new partner Suman's share will be share sacrificed by Power seven by twenty plus share sacrificed by Mata three by. What is the LCM? Three remains as it is. So multiply two to seven. Get forty. That is seventeen by forty. So we can write seven by twenty as. Fourteen by four. Therefore, new ratio of all partners will be fourteen by four is to nine by four is to seventeen by four. And we can. Check it. Uh, check this new ratio whether it is correct or not by adding all the shares of uh, all partners. So, uh, 17 plus 9, uh, 26 plus 14, uh, 40. We get uh, 40 divided by 40. That is 1. So, total share of uh, partnership is always uh, 1. That we will get. So, this answer is correct. So this is how new share is calculated when the problem gives share surrendered by old partners. Next we will look at case 4 or situation 4 that is when old ratio of old partners Share of the firm. 
Now, we have to divide this remaining share between old partners in the ratio of 3 is to 2 to find out their new share. That is, new share of a Raja will be remaining share 5 by 6 into his old share 3 by 5. You multiply. You get 15 divided by 30 as Raja's new share. Similarly, New share of Raja will be equal to remaining share 5 by 6 into her old share 2 by 5. And the answer is 10 by 30. And new partner month. His share is already given, that is 1 by 6. Now, we can write the new profit sharing ratio as 15 by 30 is to 10 by 30 is to 1 by 6. Divide 15 by 30 by 5. That is 5 3 is a 15. Remaining share of the firm 
is shared by old partners P and Q in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So, how to calculate new profit sharing ratio? So, in this case, first we have to calculate remaining share. Remaining share of the firm equals to total share 1 1 minus new partners share. So, if you deduct 1 by 5 from 1 1, you get 4 by 5 as the remaining share of the firm. Now, we have to divide the remaining share 4 by 5 in the agreed ratio that is 3 is to 2 among P and Q to find out their new shares. That is, new share of P will be equal to remaining share 4 by 5 into agreed ratio. This share in every ratio is 3 by 5. That is equal to 4 into 3 to the then we get 25. Next, new share of Q will be remaining share into his share in the every ratio. Thank you. 